Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to install WordPress without having a domain or a hosting. Simply go to Google and search ZAMP download. Open up the first website and download the latest version. If you are using a Linux, you can just download it from here. If you are using a Mac, you can simply download it from here. But for Windows, simply click on download button to any version, just go for the latest one and click on download. After that, the download will start. It will take some time to download the software. As you can see, the download has been started. It will take some time. After downloading the software, you have to install it. So just double click on the software. Okay, then click on next, next, and the software will start installing. After the installation is completed, we will set up the further process. After installing this software, what you have to do, you have to enable two modules. The first one is Apache and the second one is MySQL. So Apache module is for your server, your files, right? And MySQL is for your database, right? And we need MySQL because WordPress is based on PHP and PHP is complete server side language. It needs a server and database, right? So enable these two settings, right? And after that, what you have to do, click on admin button on the first option, Apache option. And in the first option, if this page loads properly, that means you have successfully installed XAMPP in your system, right? And if I disable this or let me stop this server, both of them, and now this time I try to refresh this page, this will not work. This will give me an error like the site cannot be reached because it needs that software to run this particular page. So make sure the software has installed successfully and you have enabled these two modules, right? And after that, if I refresh this page, the page will work, right? So that means I have successfully installed the sub software, XAMPP software. Now we need to download WordPress files. Go to Google and search WordPress download. Open this first website. And download the WordPress latest version. After successfully downloading the file, what you have to do? So this is my file that I have downloaded, a WordPress file. I have to copy this file and I have to go to my PC. So inside that, I have to go to my local disk C because this is the location where I have installed my XAMPP software. So let's open this and inside the C drive, you will find one more folder called XAMPP. And this is our software folder. Open this folder. Inside this, you will see a lot of folders and files. Just ignore all of them, except this folder that called htdocs, right? So this is our very important folder, you can say. Here, we'll create our WordPress installation file. So this is our main folder. Whatever you have to do, you have to do inside this folder. I'll go to this folder. Inside this folder, I'll create a new folder name. Right click. And I just have to name a folder. So I'm gonna name this test website and make sure when you name a folder here do not provide any space here right try to name a folder without any space right and click enter and after that inside this folder i'm gonna paste after i paste my file here so remember this is a complete a zip file a compressed file so what you have to do right click on it and extract the files here right i will extract the files after extracting all the files, what you have to do inside this folder, we have all the required files. So what we have to do, just copy all the files, go back and paste outside of the folder. And you have to paste the files outside of this folder, right? Right click and paste the folder. Now, I have my files here. Make sure you have put your files in your main folder. Now, what is the main folder? If I go to local disk C again, you can see a XAMPP is here. I will open this folder and inside this I have stdocs and inside this I have this folder that I have just created for my website called test website, right? And this is my main folder. And you have to make sure that all the files are inside this folder. If I open this file folder, I can see all the files are here. If you see your files are inside one more folder, just go to that folder, copy that file and paste it outside of the folder. That's it. And you have to do nothing. 
and after that open your browser again right or simply click on admin tab and you will see a page like this and at the top of the url you can see it says localhost slash dashboard right you have to remove the dashboard and after the slash after the slash you have to write your folder name as it is test website so this is what i named my folder and then i will click on enter so if you can see a screen like this with the wordpress logo at the top that means you have successfully completed 50% of the step in installing wordpress in your local server so just select any language i'm going to select english click on continue and then it will ask you some options like some details you have to provide them like database name username and password click on let's go and now i have to fill all the details i need a database name i need a, a username password so how to get database name username and password very simple open your panel again this is my panel and this time i will click on admin button of the mysql right it will load a page like this it is called php my admin simply you have to click on the first option at the top it says database at the top if you can see this is the section where you have to click and now you have to provide a database name any name you like i'm going to name it i'm on uh, 07 something like this and i'll click on create button so it says the database created successfully this is our database name that i have just created i'll copy this name or you can simply type your database name here and remember when you type your database name it should be correct there should be no space or nothing right and then we have an option for username and password in the username field you have to type r w o t root and the password you have to leave it blank right and you do not have to touch any of other settings in the username field you have to type r w o t in the password you have to leave it blank and the database name you have to provide just the the database you have just created right now click on submit button so now you have to click on run the installation button okay so after that you have to fill some informations like site title username and password so in site title i will just name it demo site uh, in the username field i'm going to use aman uh, 14 that will be great okay Uh, in the password field i will type uh, aman at the rate 1234 and hash right uh, so you have to remember your username and password it is very important because if you forget this id and password username and password you will not be able to access your backend and in the email field just fill any email you like and then do not touch any other settings just click on install wordpress and after that you will see a screen like this it says success wordpress has been installed successfully this is your username and the password whatever you have chosen you must have remember it now we have a button called login click on login button when you click on login button you have to fill the details to log in to your backend so i have to fill the details so i have to put my username and password so my username i have selected amun 14 and the password was amun at the rate 1234 and hash right and then i'll click on login So yes now I can access my dashboard my backend of WordPress and if you want to see how our website looks from the front end how your your visitor will see your website simply go to top in this home icon click on visit site and now you can see this is how your new WordPress website looks like simply go to this dashboard and start optimizing your WordPress website go and create post pages change theme add some plugins right So this is how you can install WordPress in your laptop without having a live hosting or a domain.